What is going on guys? My name is Roman Beck again from Roman Reviews here with another episode reaction to Rasul Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai. This is episode 3, The World Without You. Now, this is where things start getting a little interesting. Again, I have not, I don't remember, hold on, you know, and in fact, let's, while I talk, let me go actual, oop, that's the wrong, that's at the very end. <laughs> Oops. No, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> Oh, well, thank God I'm not actually doing this for, like, an actual comp um, compilation. But, yeah, hold on. Let me just see really quickly where we were at with the last episode. Because I'm a little bit curious. No, that's not what I wanted. Episode uh, 1, not 13. Uh, hold on. I just want to see... I just want to remember where we were at. Alright, so... Hold on. May 20... Okay, so it is the 29th. So, we have four days until they're caught up to where episode one starts beginning. I'm really curious as to see where this is going to go and how he forgets about her. And I heard this actually feels like it wraps up the show. <laughs> it's only the third episode. But it wraps up Mai's predicaments, I feel like. Or at least one of the large predicaments is what I'm guessing is going to happen. But yeah, I'm ready to jump into this episode. So guys, without further ado, let's jump into episode 3 of Rascal Doesn't Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai for Flashback Friday Season 3. Is it Season 3? I think it is Season 3. But yeah, whatever. Starting in 3, 2, 1, let's jam. It's low. Yeah, because they were still in the motel. Must. I took a nap in between. <laughs> so she's used to like sleeping in. Ouch! <laughs> Doggy. That would hurt. That would probably be the worst thing if I were to came home and I look at my dog and be like, "Get your ass over here!" And he just doesn't, just completely ignores me. All right, I right, guess per usual, skipping the intro. I've seen it once. Don't need to see it again. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's an okay opening. It's just not as good as the ending. Oh shit! Even the school. That's actually, that's a good... Okay, so only the friend in um, Futaba. Oh! Shit! Shit. Talking to you. So this is a bad syndrome where, so it, there is going to be a kiss where he even, he forgets. Oh, if you fall asleep? Oh, fuck. So the moment you sleep, the box figuratively gets opened? Hmm. Hmm. 
I knew she, yeah, I knew she was a representation of Schrodinger's cat. If you fall asleep, you'd totally. Oh, that would be that would have been. I have no idea how they're gonna solve this predicament. Yeah, but he can't sleep then. That's why he wrote down in his book, so... It's almost like, oh man, what is that one movie? Uh, Memento. If you've never seen Memento, I don't blame you, it's an older movie. Um, but Memento, basically this guy who wakes up without me with memory loss, and he basically writes down, except on his body, things to remember. So I wonder if that's going to be the case. If Maybe if he remembers willingly after he sleeps, it might help. Energy shot. What is that, ginseng? So, wait, hold on, wait. It's a 26 today, if I'm correct. So, basically, for the next three days, he keeps up. Oh shit, he looks horrible. And he, she doesn't know that if he falls asleep. And yet he's still trying to keep his, uh... He's still trying to keep his, uh, composure. She's so hopeful. Oh, so there actually was exams, but still. Dude, two days worth of, uh, two days? I think she fell asleep. Shit. I knew it. <sighs> oh my god, dude. I've actually done that. I think she's gonna start piecing it together. I do like how they're like mixing in like a little bit of lightheartedness in this, but if you think about it, this is a really fucked up situation. I I couldn't. 
That this is a heartbreaker almost. This is an absolute heartbreaker. I feel absolutely bad. You know, I think he's gonna, she's gonna coerce her, him to fall asleep. <laughs> Using him as an example. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Freeform, I will agree with you that I will agree with you that um... Oh! Oh It's not really blood related In a way, well, half But no, you, Freeform you, I agree that the character interactions Is fantastic No, 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 no. Uh oh. Oh, she gave. No, no. Does she know? She knows. Ah, oh, this is heartbreaker. This is already heartbreaker. Oh, man. Oh, that's fucking sad, if you think about it. That's really sad. Oh, no. She left. She left it. And then this is where the first episode begins, because it's the 29th, yep. <sighs> and he doesn't remember. But the fact that he wrote it down... See, this is where I, I was saying about, like, the whole momentum thing. The names are erased? So she, he can't even write down. Oh, come on, I thought he was gonna... What if she's like right in front of him the entire time? I know this ends on a good note, but if it wasn't... Yep. She's just watching him. Ah, oh, You can't do this to me!
She wrote it down. They're trying their best just to... Sophie falls in love. By the way, yeah, what I, I forgot what they even said. Like, what if he were, if she were to touch him directly, would he not even feel it, or touch a person in general? Oh, there it is, Hosho. I could like bring up some yes thank you this is the third episode and I'm full on like cheering holy shit guys this is a good show this is a really good show it got me feeling like emotions on the third episodes. Can you actually do that? I don't know, like, I know, like, exams are ridiculously, like, crazy in Japan. <laughs> he but remembers. And if you think about it, it's also due to my Sakata, Sukata for or Sakata for remembering, but also for my for like if he she probably didn't help help, he might not have remembered. It's not even in school. not even in school. She. Is she hanging out outside of his um his house again? No, it looks like he's still in. He's still. It looks like he's still in the school. Where is he? It looks like he's in front of like a baseball. Is he gonna announce his love? Oh shit! I love you. And if everyone hears it... No, I think you did it, dude. Jesus. Hey, you can't hold hands though, remember, that's too lewd. I'm in love. I want to date you. Oh. Prop props on the voice actor, dude. Where is she though? If 
But you know, she's gonna totally accept it. Oh, you can't make that face at me. She's gonna hug him. Oh, never mind. <laughs> but he remembered. No. Humanity culture. She's trying to add some logic. <laughs> but do they see her? That's the good question. So they do. <laughs> and it's the fact that now she exists. So it starts with the school and then it spreads almost June 2nd. So two days, three days later. <laughs> oh, this is such a good show. And think about it, this does wrap up. If you think about it, this kind of wraps up. This feels like it could have wrapped up the series right here. But no, we still got fucking <laughs> ten more episodes. Are you jealous? Oh man. I'm not to know. I'm not gonna sing this because I have a horrible singing voice. I used to sing really good, but then I hit then puber hit and then yeah. By the way, has the movie happened yet? The main reason why what really drove me to really want to start this um, Flashback Fridays for this show in particular was one, I enjoyed the first episode when I reacted to it almost a year ago, um, but the one thing that I was also really interested in was the fact that the movie was coming out relatively soon, or if it's already come out, I don't know. Um, but yeah, god damn, this is a good show. I actually, I, I wonder if I can get my brother to watch it. Highly unlikely. Because he likes more action-based shit. Perfectly understandable. Alright, let's see what this next preview is. Yeah, because it, it happens with this other girl, right? Laplace is Damon. Wow. 
Lapless. I've never heard of Lapless. Huh. Interesting. All right. So, okay, hold on. It says June 27th, so this is now a full, practically a month late, or 25 days later. Interesting. All right, I'm not going to knock out episode four today. Um, that will be for next week, so I do apologize. I'm going to be doing a couple things with my roommate. Um, kind of. I don't know if he's going to be able to do it, but I'm going to go do a couple things, fall asleep, and then I got work at midnight. Wish I come back and watch another episode of Demon Slayer. Um, but hopefully, if my if things work out good, um, I will be able to knock out at least four episodes for next week. So look forward to that, and it will be all ready uh, and uploaded. I might record it like the last couple ones on Friday, uh, but I should have at least a couple pre-recorded before then. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, really hoping, knocking on wood that things get a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, in terms of work. Because I've been working ridiculous hours. Um, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I did cry a little bit. Because I knew what was going to happen. I don't know. I think like this whole like forgetting something and being forgotten hits really close to home. With a personal thing that happened back in middle school. Middle and high school. So I can actually kind of relate to this. So it hits a little close to home. I mean not to this extent of course. But... The full, the whole like being completely forgotten. Um, I know someone who kind of went through that, so yeah, it hits a little close home. But yeah, anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys uh, enjoyed <laughs> my reaction. And yeah, I I definitely can't wait to watch the rest of the show. It's really really good, and I can see why a lot of people how hold it to such high regards. Um, and yeah, definitely. We will see. I will see you guys tomorrow for Demon Slayer or next week for the continuation of the show. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, follow me on Twitter. Link is in the description of my of all my YouTube t uh, videos. It is the easiest way to keep in contact, and you can always just send me a direct message that I'll most likely and eventually <laughs> get around to replying. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.